Ever hold an object at an angle to the light, tilting it back and forth to see subtle surface details you can't see when you're looking straight at it? You're taking advantage of the way the light interacts with those surface details to make them more easily visible. Reflectance Transformation Imaging, RTI for short, is a digital version of this technique. Photographs are taken of an object at different lighting angles but the same lighting distance. The photos are then processed in software to create a virtual lighting model so that using the viewer, you can set the lighting angle to any desired position to reveal details in the object. Because the lighting information is digital, you can manipulate its behavior to further enhance views of the object. Since its development in 2000 by Tom Malsbender of HP Labs, many uses for RTI have been found in a wide variety of disciplines. My interest in the technique started with the idea that it would be an ideal tool for photographing stone, arrow, and spear points. These are notoriously difficult to photograph well because the details can be very subtle, to the point where they are often illustrated with line drawings instead of photographs. RTI can bring out those details, and combined with software like Photoshop, can create imagery comparable or superior to line drawings. One thing that's held back the use of RTI is the difficulty of acquiring the required photographic data set. The most common method used today, Highlight RTI, can use readily available equipment like DSLRs and remote flash units and is still the only practical way to image larger objects. But this method is manual, time consuming, often requires multiple people, and processing the data can be tedious and time consuming. Dome RTI, where the lights are fixed in position around the object, is a faster method because it can be automated and processing of the data can be simplified. But there are no commercially available units. High quality custom built systems are available, but at a cost of tens of thousands of dollars, they are prohibitively expensive for most potential users. That's why I decided to build my own dome RTI system for a total cost of less than $600. With my design, up to 64 LEDs are installed on the inside of a plastic dome. This system is 12 inches in diameter, but the system is designed to work with domes over a meter in diameter. The larger the dome, the larger the sweet spot for getting good data. The system supports automated triggering of the camera shutter in synchronization with the LEDs for many different makes of cameras. For those cameras that don't have an automated capability, there is also a manual mode. In addition to the main system controls, the control box uses a custom matrix design to supply up to one amp of current to the LEDs, controlled with the accuracy the RTI technique requires. Other common LED matrix approaches were rejected, since they do not offer the intensity or current control required. The side jacks allow easy disconnection of the dome power cables, either for transportation or to connect to a different size dome. The rear of the control box has a jack for the camera shutter control cable, as well as switches to set various options. With an alternate stand design, this system is fully portable, fitting into a backpack and weighing less than 10 pounds. It can be set up in the field in well under 3 minutes and runs off of standard AA batteries. The lightweight portability of this system makes it ideal not only for high quality recording of artifacts that will be left in the field, but also for use in museums, schools, libraries, archives, private collections, and any other remote locations. I can't think of any other high quality imaging technology that has this level of portability. On the Hackaday project page, you will find an insanely detailed set of instructions on how to build and operate your own RTI system, a detailed list of the components required, and all software required to build, test, and operate the system. That includes my custom software to speed up the data processing step enormously. Every piece of information required to build a system is on the Hackaday page today. The hardware is released under the CERN Open Hardware Standard, the instructions are released under a Creative Commons license, and the software is released as open source GPL version 2.0. For the brief time left in this video, here's a gallery of some of the cool objects I've imaged with my RTI systems. Thanks for watching.